a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Serena Williams Serena Jamika Williams is an American professional tennis player. The Women's Tennis Association has ranked her world number one in singles on eight separate occasions over the last 15 years from 2002 to 2017. She became the world number one for the first time on July 8, 2002. On her sixth occasion, she held the ranking for 186 consecutive weeks, tying the record set by Steffi Graf for the most consecutive weeks as world number one by a female tennis player. In total, she has been world number one for 319 weeks, which ranks third in the Open era among female players behind Graf and Martina Navratilova. Some commentators, players, and sports writers regard her as the greatest female tennis player of all time. On April 19, 2017, she announced a hiatus from tennis until 2018, because of pregnancy. Williams hold the most Grand Slam titles in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles combined amongst active players. Her record of 39 Grand Slam titles puts her third on the all-time list in second in the Open era, 23 in singles, 14 in women's doubles, and 2 in mixed doubles. She is the most recent female player to have held all four Grand Slam singles titles simultaneously and the third player to achieve this record twice after Rod Laver and Steffi Graf. She is also, together with her sister Venus, the most recent player to have held all four Grand Slam women's doubles titles simultaneously. Her total of 23 Grand Slam singles titles marks the record for the most Grand Slam wins by a tennis player in the Open era and is second on the all-time list behind Margaret Court. She is the only tennis player in history to have won singles titles at least six times in three of the four Grand Slam tournaments, and the only player ever to have won two Grand Slams seven times each. She is also the only tennis player to have won ten Grand Slam singles titles in two separate decades. She has won an all-time record of 13 Grand Slam singles titles on hard court. Williams holds the Open Era record for most titles won at the Australian Open and shares the Open Era record for most titles won at the US Open with Chris Evert. She also holds the all-time record for the most women's singles matches won at the Grand Slams with 316 matches. She has won 14 Grand Slam doubles titles, all with her sister Venus, and the pair are unbeaten in Grand Slam doubles finals. As a team, she and Venus have the third most women's doubles Grand Slam titles, behind the 18 titles of Natasha Zvereva and the record 20 titles won by Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver. Williams is also a five-time winner of the WTA Tour Championships in the singles division. Serena has also won four Olympic gold medals, one in women's singles and three in women's doubles, an all-time record shared with her sister, Venus. The arrival of the Williams sisters has been credited with ushering in a new era of power and athleticism on the women's professional tennis tour, earning almost $29 million in prize money and endorsements. Williams was the highest-paid female athlete in 2016. She repeated this feat in 2017, when she was the only woman on Forbes' list of the 100 highest-paid athletes with $27 million in prize money and endorsements. She has won the Laurier Sportswoman of the Year award three times, and in December 2015, she was named Sportsperson of the Year by Sports Illustrated magazine. Early Life Williams was born in Saginaw, Michigan, to Richard Williams and Aura Zine Price, and is the youngest of Price's five daughters, half-sisters Yatunde, Lindria, and Aisha Price, and full sister Venus. When the children were young, the family moved to Compton, California, where Williams started playing tennis at the age of three. Her father, Richard, homeschooled Serena and her sister Venus, while he, and subsequently her mother, Orosine, have been the official coaches. Other mentors who helped her learn the game included Richard Williams, a Compton man who shared her father's name and would go on to found the Venus and Serena Williams Tennis Slash Tutorial Academy. When Williams was nine, she and her family moved from Compton to West Palm Beach, Florida, so that she could attend the Tennis Academy of Rick Macy. Macy began to provide additional coaching. Macy did not always agree with Williams' father, but respected that. He treated his daughters like kids, allowed them to be little girls. 
Richard stopped sending his daughters to national junior tennis tournaments when Williams was 10, since he wanted them to take it slow and focus on schoolwork. Experiences of racism also drove this experience, as Richard Williams had heard white parents talk about the Williams sisters in a derogatory manner during tournaments. At that time, Williams had a 46-3 record on the United States Tennis Association Junior Tour and was ranked number one among under 10 players in Florida. In 1995, when Williams was in the ninth grade, her father pulled his daughters out of Mookie's Academy and, from then on, took over all coaching at their home. When asked in 2000 whether having followed the normal path of playing regularly on the junior circuit would have been beneficial, Williams responded, everyone does different things. I think for Venus and I, we just attempted a different road, and it worked for us. Playing Style Williams is primarily a baseline player, and her game is built around taking immediate control of rallies with her powerful and consistent serve, return of serve, and forceful ground strokes from both her forehand and backhand swings. Williams' forehand is considered to be among the most powerful shots in the women's game, as is her double-handed backhand. Williams strikes her backhand ground stroke using an open stance, and uses the same open stance for her forehand. Williams' aggressive play, a high-risk style, is balanced in part by her serve, which most say is the greatest in women's tennis history. She consistently projects great pace and placement with her serves. In the 2013 Australian Open, she had a peak serve speed of 128.6 miles per hour which is the third fastest all time among female players. What makes her serve even more deadly is her ball placement and her ability to consistently place powerful shots with great accuracy. At the 2012 Championships at Wimbledon, she hit a women's tournament record of 102 aces, which was more than any of the men hit during the two weeks, a rarity given that aces are more common in the men's game. Williams also possesses a very solid and powerful overhead. Although many think of Williams as only an offensive player, she also plays a strong defensive game. She has stated that her favorite surface is clay, because it gives her extra time to set up her shots. Williams is known for producing exceptional comebacks, particularly on the Grand Slam level. She has won three Grand Slam singles titles after saving much points, a feat achieved more often than any other player in history. She also came back from a 3-5 deficit in the third set against Kim Clijsters in the 1999 US Open en route to her first Grand Slam singles title. In the 2012 US Open final against Victoria Azarenka, she was down 3-5 in the third set and found herself two points away from losing the match. Williams then proceeded to win the next four games and defeated Azarenka. In the semi-finals of the 2015 French Open, Williams was ill and barely able to walk during changeovers, yet beat her opponent, Timia Bashinki, 6-0 in the third set. Another improbable win occurred in the third round of the 2015 Wimbledon Championships, when she recovered from two breaks of service in the third set to defeat Great Britain's number one female player, Heather Watson. Williams has bounced back from a set down to win in 37 Grand Slam matches. In recent years, Williams has shown an ability to serve aces at critical moments. One of these instances was the 2013 French Open final, where in the last game of the match, she fired three aces, including one which clocked at 123 miles per hour on match point. She repeated the feat similarly against Angelique Kerber in the finals of the 2016 Wimbledon Championships, to tie the Open era record for Grand Slam singles titles. Williams fired three unreturnable serves in her final service game before winning the match and the title, with the casual forehand volley on the next point. 1995-98 Professional Debut Williams' parents wanted their daughter to wait until she was 16 to participate in professional tournaments. However, in 1995 just after turning 14, Williams planned to make her professional debut as a wildcard entry in the Bank of the West Classic in Oakland, California, but was denied by the WTA due to age eligibility restrictions of the organization. She subsequently filed an antitrust lawsuit against the women's tour, but withdrew it at the behest of her parents. Her first professional event was in October 1995 at the Bell Challenge in Quebec where she used a wildcard entry to circumvent age eligibility rules. 
She lost in the first round of qualifying to then 18-year-old American Annie Miller, winning just two games. Williams did not play a tournament in 1996. The following year, she lost in the qualifying rounds of three tournaments, before winning her first main draw match in November at the Ameritech Cup Chicago. Ranked world number 304, she upset world number 7, Mary Pierce, and number 4, Monica Sellis, recording her first career wins over top 10 players and becoming the lowest ranked player in the Open era, to defeat two top 10 opponents in one tournament. She ultimately lost in the semi-finals to world number 5, Lindsay Davenport. She finished 1997 ranked world number 99. Williams began 1998 at the Medibank International Sydney. As a qualifier ranked world number 96, she defeated world number 3 Davenport in the quarterfinals, before losing to Arantxa Sanchez Vicario in the semi-finals. Williams made her debut in the main draw of a Grand Slam tournament at the Australian Open, where she defeated sixth-seeded Arena Spearley in the first round, before losing to Sister Venus in the second round in the sister's first professional match. Williams reached six other quarterfinals during the year, but lost all of them, including her first match against world number one ranked Martina Hingis at the Lipton International Players' Championships in Key Biscayne, and her second match against Venus at the Italian Open in Rome. She failed to reach the quarterfinals of any Grand Slam tournament the remainder of the year, losing in the fourth round of the French Open to Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, and the third round of the US Open to Spear Lee. She withdrew from Wimbledon two games into a match with Virginia Ruano Pasquale, after straining her calf muscle during the first set. She did, however, win the mixed doubles titles at Wimbledon and the US Open with Max Mernier, completing the Williams family sweep of the 1998 mixed doubles Grand Slam tournaments. Williams won her first professional title in doubles in Oklahoma City with Venus, becoming the third pair of sisters to win a WTA title. Williams and her sister won two more doubles titles together during the year. Williams finished the year ranked world number 20 in singles. To date, 1998 is the only year in which Williams failed to win a Grand Slam when she competed at all four majors. 1 triple 9, 2 double 01, becoming a top 10 player. Williams lost in the third round of the 1999 Australian Open to Sandrine Testud. A month later, Williams won her first professional singles title when she defeated Amélie Moresmo in the final of the Open Gaz de France in Paris, with Venus also winning the IGA Super Thrift Classic in Memphis, Tennessee that day. The pair became the first sisters to win professional tournaments in the same week. In March of that year, at the Ivid Cup in California, Williams won her first tier I title, defeating Steffi Graf in the final. Soon afterwards at the Miami Masters, Williams had her 16-match winning streak ended by her sister in the first All-Sisters singles final in WTA history, and she then made her top 10 debut at world number 9. She then lost in the quarter-finals of the Italian Open and the German Open, and the third round of the French Open, where she and Venus won the women's doubles title. Williams then missed Wimbledon because of injury when she returned to the tour. Williams won a Fed Cup singles match and then won the J.P. Morgan Chase Open in Los Angeles, beating Julie Hallard de Cugues in the final. She then defeated in succession Grand Slam champions Kim Clijsters, Conchita Martinez, Monica Sellis, and defending champion Lindsay Davenport to reach the U.S. Open final, where she defeated world number one, Hingis, to become the second African-American woman, after Althea Gibson in 1958 to win a Grand Slam singles tournament. The Williams sisters also won the doubles title at this tournament. To complete her 1999 season, Williams won a doubles match in the Fed Cup final against Russia. Williams ended the year ranked world number four in just her second full year on the main tour. Williams started 2000 by losing in the fourth round of the Australian Open to Elena Lee Hovtseva. She failed to defend her titles in Paris and Indian Wells, although she did win the Faber Grand Prix in Germany. Soon afterwards, Williams missed the French Open because of injury. She returned from injury at Wimbledon, where she lost to Venus in the semi-finals, but the Pia won the doubles title at the event. Williams successfully defended her title in Los Angeles, defeating Davenport in the final. 
She reached the final of the Du Maurier Open where an injury forced her to retire from her match with Ingus. Her defense of the U.S. Open title ended when she lost in the quarterfinals to Davenport. Williams teamed with Venus to win the gold medal in doubles at the Sydney Olympics that September. She ended the year winning the Toyota Princess Cup in Japan and she finished the year ranked world number six. Williams began 2001 losing to Martina Hingis in the quarterfinals of the Medibank International in Sydney and the Australian Open in Melbourne. Williams and her sister won the doubles title at the latter tournament, becoming only the fifth doubles team in history to win all four Grand Slam women's doubles titles during their career, completing a career Grand Slam. Her next event was the Pacific Life Open in California, where she defeated Kim Clijsters in the final. However, the final was marred by the behavior of the crowd towards Williams and her family. The crowd were incensed at the perceived much fixing of games involving the family after Venus withdrew before their semi-final. Neither Williams nor her sister entered the tournament for 14 years until Williams entered in 2015 as a wild card. The following week, at the Ericsson Open in Miami, Williams lost to Jennifer Capriati in the quarterfinals. She then lost in the quarterfinals to Capriati at both the French Open and Wimbledon. This was the fourth consecutive Grand Slam tournament at which Williams had exited in the quarterfinals. During the North American hard court season, she lost in the quarterfinals of Los Angeles against Monica Sellis, then captured her second title of the year at the Rogers Cup, defeating Capriati in the final. Williams reached the final of the 2001 US Open, losing to Sister Venus. That was the first Grand Slam tournament final contested by two sisters during the Open era. At the 2001 season-ending tour championships, Williams won the championship by walkover when Davenport withdrew before the start of the final due to a knee injury. Williams finished 2001 at world number 6 for the second straight year. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?